And a welcome, everyone, to American Green Stadium for this edition of Afternoon Baseball presented by the show. Today, we've got exhibition baseball on tap for you as it'll be the Detroit Tigers taking on the Atlanta Braves. And a welcome inside the broadcast booth, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here to take you through this one. We'll hear from my colleagues Dave Campbell and Eric Harris momentarily. But first, let's get to our starting lineup here. It's presented by State Farm. Get to a better state, State Farm. And they'll have their work cut out for them as they'll face the guy they call the Bulldog, the veteran right-hander Tim Hudson. Now a quick look at how the Braves will align themselves behind him. Now the starting lineup on your screen for the Atlanta Braves as announced by manager Freddy Gonzalez. And getting his final warm-up tosses in, there you see the numbers for one of the very best starters in the game, all-star right-hander Justin Verlander. And a quick look now at the defensive alignment behind him for Detroit. Standing in is the leadoff man, Michael Bourne, as he'll get things started in the home half of the first. And a half swing that time, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Well, let's check it out again using the show motion camera by State Farm. The question is, does that bat break the plane? And to me, I think it does. That looked to be the right call. Martin Prado will take his first cut to the... Now a ball lined toward right center. And that is going to be a base hit. Around first, digging for two now. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Prince Fielder leads things off now in the top half of the second. And this is hit sharply on the ground toward the hole. And the Tigers are into the hit column now. That's their first hit of the contest. Nothing. Freddie Freeman will lead things off here as they'll have five, six, and seven. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. First time through the lineup, it's clear to see he's using his fastball early in the count to set up his other pitches, and that sequence paid off to perfection right there. Jason Hayward will step in now. Wing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. And we'll get a good look at the grip on this last circle change. You can see that your fingers actually make kind of an OK symbol on the side of the baseball, and that gives it that nice fading movement it has at the end. Johnny Peralta is ready to go here as we begin the third. Guy in a scoreless ball game. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. And that's what I'd call an intelligent at bat right there. It's good knowledge of the strike zone, and more importantly, of how the home plate umpire calls a strike zone. He's got himself a leadoff walk. Ramon Santiago will dig in here. 
Well, the only good news that comes out of this at-bat is that he stayed out of the double play. Other than that, this at-bat really didn't achieve a whole lot. And the bunt attempt now by Verlander as he gets it down. Thrown on to first by McCann, and it winds up being a successful sacrifice. Greg Badalucco will come out now and make his first appearance of the spring. Cabrera throws across the diamond for route number one. Tim Hudson steps in now. Owen two coming. Ani lets him off the hook on 0-2 as this is lined into left field for a base hit. Michael Bourne will stand in as the now. And worth noting that he does strike out quite a bit for a leadoff guy, so this might not need to be in the zone here with two strikes. Not the greatest of starts for him here this afternoon. He has looked pretty overmatched in his first two at-bats, both strikeouts. Mike Miner is on, and he'll take over on the mound. Luis Marte will be the new pitcher. Dan Ugla will stand in, a line-out victim his first time. Swing and a ball lifted in the air to straightaway right. Catch made out there by Bosch, and there are two away now. Freddie Freeman will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. As we're scoreless in inning number four. Started to go. They'll look for the appeal down to third. And ring him up, says the third base umpire. He's gone. Braves are set down one, two, three. Through four. Still tied. Nothing, nothing. Julio Teheran will come in and pitch now. Johnny Peralta will stand in. He drew base. Now a swing and a hard hit ball back through the box. And Ugla won't be able to flag that one down. It's into center, a base hit. Well, Andy Oliver is on, and he'll take over on the mound. Number 43, Andy Oliver. Jason Hayward step in to get things started for it. And this is lined into left field, and the leadoff man will reach. It's a base hit. Well, that's just hit number three for him in the game. They really haven't gotten their sticks working yet, but in a tie ball game, you better start getting some guys on. Let's see what happens. Swing and a hard hit ball back up the middle. And Chipper's going to reach. It's a base hit. Throw comes back in quickly, so they're at first and second now. With and we'll see a pinch hitter come on here, and it looks to be Matt Diaz that'll get the call. No runs, four hits, and no errors so far for Atlanta. Swing and a hot shot toward third, and that's a fair ball as this one will get down the line. And the runner will score from second. Michael Bourne will dig in now. Now with two strikes, he won't worry about trying to get a ground ball. He will definitely be gunning for the strikeout. And the throw skips past him and into center field. And Jones is in there safely to score the run. Now the three and two pitch. Popped him up. Over to the left, but playable over in foul ground. And there to bring it in is Cabrera for route number two. Martin Prado will dig in. One. And a 
check swing here, but he holds up far too late as it's strike three and the inning is over. So two runs on three hits, one error, and one man left on. We're through five here at the ball. Christian Martinez will get the call here as he'll start the sixth inning on the mound. Enrique Gonzalez will come on now as he'll start out the bottom of the sixth. Freddie Freeman will stand in 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. And this is swung on and bounced up the center of the diamond. A dive, but he can't knock it down. It's through for a base hit. Jason Hayward will stand in. A strikeout victim his first time and then a base hit last time around. Here's a swing and a high pop-up out in front of the mound. Gonzalez has got it and the side is retired. We'll see Miguel Cabrera leading off when we get back. We're through six full. The Braves on top, two to nothing. Chris Medlin is on to pitch now as he'll take over to start inning number seven. Chipper Jones. And there indeed is Chipper Jones. He'll try and get something started in the home half of... Brian Villarreal will get the ball now as he'll take over on the mound to start the home seventh. Strike, it's 0-1. Boy, and perfectly located right there. And this finds the seam. Looks like extra bases for Chipper. And he will pull into second with a lead ants to third now. David Ross will grab a bat and pinch hit now, and he'll be looking for at least a fly ball as he's got a runner at third and only one away. Now a fastball swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. And that is over the wall. Home run. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. And the Braves add on. It's four to nothing. Well, he knows that sooner or later his number might be called, and he steps right into the ball game and promptly unloads on one. That's hard to do. Goose in the inning is. Jose Constanza will stay in the ball game now and take over in left field. Left field, number 17. Eric O'Flaherty will be summoned from the bullpen now, so he'll take over to start inning number eight. Eric Hinsky will also come in now as he takes over out in center. Now playing center field, number 20, Eric. Alex Avila will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. And oh, that looked to catch him flush down near the foot or the ankle. And he still has the wherewithal to get the out at first, but now we'll have to see if he's all right. And time now to see quite where that got him. And it appeared from up here at least, and his actions on the field confirm it. It looked like it got him on his drive leg, which could be problematic, of course, for him. But from the way he's trying to walk it off. About set to begin the home eighth, but first, let's look back to see how the Braves got themselves to a better state. And it came right here on this base hit that put him on top. Get to a better state, State Farm. Tyler, Your attention, please. new pitcher coming on as set to take over is the right-hander Octavio Dotel. Jose Yepes will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one. 
and this is swung on and missed, so not a productive at-bat off the bench, and there are two away now. And this is a two-seam fastball with a little bit of life to it. I mean, they'll often run east to west or vice versa, depending on the pitcher's handedness. He just had no answer for this one. Josh Wilson will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. All right, hitter's got to be defensive on two and two, but that was so far outside, he didn't even have to worry about chasing. Down in order go the Braves, but they hold a four to nothing lead. Josh Wilson will stay in the ball game as he'll take over at first base. Now playing first base, number two. Peter Moylan will come on now, hoping to wrap this one up here in the top of the ninth. J.C. Boskan is also into the ball game as he'll likely go the rest of the way behind the plate. Brandon Hicks is also into the ball game now as he takes over at second. Brennan Bosch is the last swing a bit. Get a little more compact because he ain't going to be touching those fastballs. And he'll step on first for the out and the ball game is over. Well, this might not have been one for the ages, but it was still a good competitive game here, folks. That's all you can really ask for. So a good ball game in this one with runs hard to come by. It made it much easier to find our difference maker as you get a look there at our tops player of the game, Dave. Matty only had one hit in the game, but was it ever big? That home run really turned out to be the decisive blow in the game. So that'll bring us to our conclusion here this afternoon. For Dave Campbell, Eric Karros, and our entire crew, this is Matt Vaskersian saying so long and thanks for joining us here today. As always, this has been a presentation of MLB 12, the show. For more, log on to theshownation.com. The Braves are winners here, four to nothing. We'll leave you with some of the highlights from our ball game as we.